general idea for our study really uh, came out of some observations uh, that we've made in the course of teaching. Um, and that is that students frequently complain that uh, over the extended period of a lecture they find it harder and harder to pay attention to what they're being taught. So this naturally raised some questions for us of how can we help students to sustain attention um, during lectures and how, how could we go about motivating them and one thought that naturally came to mind is that what if we interspersed our lectures with brief quizzes. The testing uh, effect not only improves your memory for what's in the lecture but also seems to work against mind wandering. People found it easier to do. In order to test this idea we uh, simply took a 20-minute excerpt of a statistics lecture that is uh, taught here at Harvard and we uh, divided it into four segments and we told uh, students in our experiment that they were going to watch this lecture and that during the lecture there would be uh, brief pauses and during each pause they would either be asked a few questions about the most recent segment of the lecture they had watched or they would just complete some uh, unrelated math problems, but that before they left the experiment, we would test them on everything they had learned. And in reality, there were two testing schedules. Uh, one group of students was tested after every segment of the lecture, and one group was only tested after the fourth and final segment. And what we found, if you've been previously tested, you're learning the end of the lecture about 25% better uh, than if you had not been uh, tested. That's a striking uh, finding for us. Sometimes tests have a bad reputation mm -hmm. and when you even bring them up in an ed educational context some people will react negatively, oh I don't want to teach to the test and, and things like that, but this work and uh, other related work show that there really are a lot of benefits to testing um, and st uh, the participants in this study even found uh, the task easier when there was a test. Mm -hmm. So one of the particularly exciting things about using, for example, videotape lectures, especially as it relates to online learning, is that it's not just a distant model of what might be going on, it is the actual delivery platform itself. If we're going to have uh, all these individuals learning from online lectures, well, what are the possible limitations of doing so and how can we overcome those limitations? Uh, the success of this particular grant and project would be evaluated uh, I guess, like any other research project, it, are, are, there, uh, are there solid results that, that can be accepted into a good peer-reviewed journal and then later have impact on the field? And we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs>